Uh, this comment, I guess I, hmm, I wonder what I should talk about today. I guess what I'm going to talk about today is white nationalists. Surprise, surprise. And I think I'm going to talk about comparing Stefan Selmer, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Dysgenic. Uh, yeah, he, he goes under a name called Res Resistant, R-A-S-S-I-S-T-E-N, I believe. I like to compare those two, compare and contrast those two. Um, and the reason why I want to compare and contrast those two is that I want to, I want to make a point um, of showing how a white nationalist argument can be racist. And how a white nationalist, white nationalist argument or perception can be argued um, non-racist. Okay, if you know it, Stefan Selmar preaches white separatism based upon her his theory that blacks are no based upon his theory that he has the right to want to associate with people who look just like him it's not really because of black crime it's not really because of bl low black IQ it's not really because he has anything against Asians. He just wants a community and a nation where he sees all white people. Because he looks like them. That is the basis of his reason of separatism. Yes, he does believe that... Um, Racial differences in crime, racial differences in IQ can be used to justify separatism. But he believes that black, whites as a race, a physical race, will die if they continue to inter, intermix with non-whites. That means even mongoloids, which he probably would prefer to uh, mix if he had, if he had to pick, make a choice between blacks or Asians. Uh, he is a white separatist. In saying that, he also he also gives reasons for white separatism. But again, like he told, how, like he explained it to me, the reason why he is a white separatist is because he believes racial intermixing, any type of interaction, is going to threaten. The white gene pool, because he says, and it, it, I guess it is fact that whites are the minority in the glo in, in the global scope of things. Whites are the minority in in the globe. So he feels that separating from non-whites, he can preserve his race. But furthermore, he believes that racial differences in crime and IQ are even more reasons to separate from non-whites. Okay, so he points out the double stand. He points out uh, the double standards, the perceived double standards of white victims and black victims. He believes that when a black kills a white it's ignored in the media and when a white kills a black it's a hate crime that's a double he believes that's a double standard he believes affirmative action is a double standard why base something on race if you say that it's a colorblind society why are you given racial preferences okay this is his view he believes that BET is a double standard if there is BET, why isn't there WET? 
Okay. Many of his videos discuss this issue. You cannot say because he believes this is the perception that he is racist toward black people or he believes that he is superior to black people. He may um, he has hinted that the racial IQ differences are based upon biology, the racial IQ differences. However, he does, he has not hinted at that the IQ is an objective measurement of one's humanity. Um, now, I pointed all this out because I want to draw a contrast to some Stefan Selmar you know, draw a difference between Stefan Salmar and Dysgenic. Dysgenic is a white supremacist. Period. He doesn't like the label because it has bad connotations. That's the only reason why he's denying it. If it had good connotations, he would not deny it. He says Jews are inferior. He says blacks, Negroes are worthless. Relative to who? Whites. That infer infers that you feel that blacks are a <laughs> are inferior species. Why am I? Why are you getting mad at me? Why are you, Why are you mad at the people who are calling you a racist? Okay. Obviously, somebody that believes in equality finds racism an enemy toward equality. Period. So. You know, you are an enemy of anti-racist. I can't say uh, Stefan Selmar is an enemy of anti-racist because she, he simply wants an area where whites can be by themselves. However, you may want the same thing, but your views are on non-white racists is that those non-white races are not evolved compared to white people. You have stated yourself that mongloids, even mongloids, are not equal to whites because they do not have the capacity to create civilization from scratch. Your contention is that all white civilizations were created from scratch from white people. They did not borrow from other cultures, they did it by themselves without any information from any other racial group or continent. Fine. However, that view is a racist view. Whether it's negative or not doesn't matter. That's just a fact. Okay. That is a racist view because you believe that one racist accomplishments and abilities in general are superior to another race's abilities and, it, and when he compares the mongoloids and, and whites he's also comparing genocide he also believes mongoloid genocide toward whites was at a greater capacity a far greater capacity than the other way around he believes that whites are more compassionate than mongoloids when it comes to treating it comes to treating non-white non races so if you add all those all those theories up he views the white race as a more evolved race simple Stefan Selmar has not brought up all these issues and does not make these type of comments that's why I do not call him a white supremacist and I call you a white supremacist have a nice day I hope you understand